Welcome back guys. So today I am going to be doing another video. I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite um, charcoal peel-off mask. I'm sure you've probably seen a lot of them. For a while there was like this big craze on Instagram where people were doing like a lot of um, charcoal peel-off mask videos and it wasn't the best results. They were peeling it off, eyebrows were coming off, sideburns were coming off, they can't even get it on their face. This is not that. So this is the brand that I've been using. Now this mask promises to, you know, give you clearer, smoother, detoxified skin and also removes blackheads. And let me tell you, it does. I don't get a lot of blackheads. I don't think I've ever gotten a blackhead, but it definitely helps to clear your skin and makes it feel smooth. Since I've been using it, it gives me like a nice glow. Um, you could use it once or twice per week. I typically do a face mask or a face scrub once or twice a week anyways. So I would do that and then another time I just do like another face scrub. So yeah. When it comes to like the smell of the mask, I don't know how to describe the smell. It's like, it smells like something, <laughs> but I don't know what that something is. Like I don't... I really don't know how to describe it, but it has a really nice fragrance to it though. It might be the charcoal that gives it that smell or the lavender or the rosemary that's in there. I'm not sure, but it really has a nice fragrance. Um, another thing to note about the mask, you keep it on for about 30 minutes to let it dry. Um, before you do put it on though, I like to wash my face and pat my face dry so that the mask can like stick onto my skin pretty well. So there's no like excess oil on my face. Now we can go ahead and get into applying the mask. So when it comes to applying the mask, you only have to apply like a very thin layer for each section. Um, you don't have to worry about finishing it too quick. There's a lot in this bottle surprisingly. So use as much as you need to to cover your face. Try to keep it away from your little hairs like your edges, your eyebrows. Because I have not experienced, I have not experienced it actually pulling out a lot of hair, but it's not comfortable to have it like tugging on your baby hairs. You gotta keep them edges protected. Seriously, you, know, you work hard for these. You don't want them to just suddenly be gone like that because of a mask. Um, also, it says right here to avoid your eye areas. Believe them when they say that, cause I have applied it too close to my eyes, and when I was trying to remove the mask, I was crying like, like a little baby, cause it really feels like you're just tugging on your eyes and it's not pleasant. So just read the instructions and follow it, please. Like please, like please. <laughs> so let's go ahead. You don't have to use too much. Just a, you know, that much is good enough. Should be good enough for you. that last bit because 
I did not want to make any mistakes. So now I'm gonna, you know, take a break, let this sit and dry for 30 minutes, and then I'll get back to you guys. So now that I've let it dry for about 30 minutes, um, you can definitely feel the pull of the mask. It feels like very tight on your face. Right now, it's not that tight for me because the mouth area has started peeling a bit. But usually whenever it starts drying, like it's hard for me to even talk or make any facial expressions. So don't freak out when that happens, it's normal. I'm gonna go ahead and start peeling. Um, when it comes to peeling, it's just nice to find a little spot that's already peeling off. Get a nice grip. And then you just wanna take your time and move along your face. You don't wanna pull too hard. This probably looks like so crazy. <laughs> I'm feeling, I'm feeling off my skin. But yeah, especially if you have sensitive skin, you just want to take your time. You don't want to rip the mask off. And it should come off in like one motion if you applied it pretty evenly. onto your face and then you're gonna have to go and wash that off wipe it off but I'm gonna go ahead and apply my moisturizer and I'll be back okay now I have moisturized my face I have shown you in a previous video on um, my skincare routine where I showed you what I have what I do use to moisturize my face it is the shea butter you can go ahead and check it out I'm gonna link it somewhere here <laughs> whichever one um, just check out that video if you want to get more information on how I moisturize my face and what my regular skincare routine is like. But yeah, back to the mask. I really like this mask. As you can see, it gives you like a nice glow. I feel like it gets a lot deeper, deeper than I can get with my own hand. And yeah, you really don't need to use it that often. Once a week is good, once or twice a week, depending on what your needs are, is perfectly fine. And you should notice a big difference in your face after using it consistently. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment below. Catch you next time.